There is no charge for awesomeness. Hi folks, Guru Bob, and welcome to day seven of the 30 day challenge. Day seven is all about tracking. Tracking the traffic coming to your blog and also tracking the click throughs uh, through any links on your blog that might point to the affiliate product that you're planning to promote. This particular video is about how to set up Google Analytics. Google Analytics, the address to, uh, to use that service is analytics.google.com. There are plenty of free stats programs out there, but um, for relatively ease of use, the quality of the information that they provide, um, you probably can't really beat Google Analytics. It's free and uh, you know, they do a great job in, in, in tracking the sort of data that we need to be looking at. Um, but there are two other reasons why we want to use Google Analytics. The first one is that we've uh, there's an automated installation of the ultimate Google Analytics plugin in your WordPress blog, which means that uh, that is already set up for your blog. And um, it's really easy to actually get tracking started once you have a Google Analytics account through your WordPress direct control panel. So how do we set up Google Analytics? If you go to the address that I gave you before, analytics.google.com, you'll be redirected to this page. And if you have a Google account, um, which you will have if you have a Gmail address or you set up Google Reader, as we suggested you, that you do in pre-season, then you'll already be having everything that you need to be able to uh, set up and start using Google Analytics. So I'm just going to use our 30 day challenge at Gmail account and click sign in here. Now, I haven't actually set up any analytics um, before uh, using this particular account, so I'm actually going through a sign-up process. But um, one thing you might not be aware of is that with Google Analytics, you can, have, you can track multiple sites from the one account, and you just have different profiles for each site. So, but what we're doing here is actually starting the process and signing up for our, our sort of main, main site account, after which we can add additional sites. So I'm going to put in the address of our blog. I'm going to give it an account name. Now this is the main account name. Um, I'm going to set it to our time here in Australia, but you can change that so that the, the stats are relative to your time zone. Click continue. Agree to the terms and conditions. and we're good to go. Now, at this stage, um, Google Analytics is going to give you some code that I'm going to put onto, uh, that you would normally put onto your website, onto your blog. In actual fact, we're only going to use one small part of this code, which is this unique identifier here. Uh, but in order to get that, you can see I have to copy it all, so I'm going to copy that, put it into a text file, and then copy and paste this unique identifier here in between these two quotes, the UA hyphen and then the number. Copy that. Then I'm going to go over to WordPress Direct and for the blog that I'm wishing to track, I'm going to click on Website Settings, scroll down to the place here where it says Google Analytics ID and replace what's in there with your actual Google An Analytics ID code. Then click Save Website Settings. Well, having added the, um, the, uh, you, the Google Analytics identifier into your website settings, we can go back to uh, Google Analytics and click Continue. And our website will appear here. And you'll notice that right now, 
analytics are telling us that it doesn't know whether we've actually applied the, um, the, the, the code at all. So we click check status. And indeed, Google Analytics tells me that Analytics has been successfully installed and it's waiting for data. Google Analytics works on the basis that it's always 24 hours behind. Uh, so after you set up Analytics on your blog, you're not going to start to see any traffic data at all um, or any statistics data for at least 24 hours. Of course, you won't see any traffic probably until your blog gets indexed and gets some ranking. And that's probably not going to happen yet because we haven't really done any promotion. But so at this stage, we're just setting up analytics, getting ready for the future. All right, so that's it for setting up Google Analytics. Really very easy. Um, and in the next video, Dan will show you how to create a, um, a tracked link from your 30 Day Challenge members area that you can use to track um, people clicking on your affiliate promotions off your blog. Talk soon. There is no charge for awesomeness.